Hi, my name is Marin and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, second person of interest in Nandi case now released. New Nakasi no Sori Road to open soon. And Fiji has over $500 million worth of renewable energy sources. From the studios of FBC Suba, Beva Lendua. A second person of interest who was being spoken to by police in relation to the deaths of the five members of a Nandi family has now been released. The woman is believed to be the wife of the man who was the first person of interest released yesterday after 48 hours of questioning. The Lotoka court yesterday afternoon dismissed an application made by the state for police to hold him for longer than 48 hours. As reported by FBC News on Tuesday that the man was a man was taken in for questioning, the 48-hour time period lapsed without charges being laid. Authorities say a stop departure order has also been issued for the two as they reside in Christchurch, New Zealand. The bodies of a 63-year-old carpenter, Nirmal Kumar, his 54-year-old wife, Usha Devi, their 34-year-old daughter, Nileshni Kajal, and her two daughters, 11-year-old Sana and 8-year-old Samara, were found in the Nosori Highlands on Monday. A one-year-old was found crawling at the scene. Medical tests have indicated that the five people died after ingesting a substance as yet unveiled, unrevealed by police. Many Fijians complain about poor road conditions, but often they're the very ones damaging the infrastructure. Economy Minister Ayaz Said Kayum says people want modern day facilities but are not willing to follow regulations. Said Kayum says police and the Land Transport Authority are trying their best to ensure people adhere to the rules in place. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot want modern day facilities, but not decide to modernize yourselves, decide to modernize your attitude, your responsibility in society. Everybody wants to be like Singapore. Everybody wants to be like, you know, modern day cities like Auckland and Sydney, but they have certain rules and regulations that everybody actually adheres to. Some drivers have been penalized by the Fiji Roads Authority for damaging infrastructure, especially the newly built roads. Meanwhile, the Nakasi no Sori four-lane road is expected to open in the next few days. Fiji Roads Authority Chief Executive Jonathan Moore says the new four-lane network will ease traffic congestion. Moore says they want to ensure the traffic signals are operational before the road opens to the public. He adds the wet weather conditions have delayed the opening. When we open the road, the only thing that won't be complete is the cycle tracks because the, um, the next phase of this work is to install the ducting for the EFL cables to go underground and we have to redo all the cabling works to allow the poles to be taken down and some of those poles are in the cycle tracks right now. So um, end of this month, beginning of next month, the road should be open, the footpaths will be okay, but the cycle track in certain places may not be usable. Traders are under the obligation to provide receipts and warranty. However, not getting the appropriate warranty is a major concern for the Consumer Council. Chief Executive Seema Shandil says, at times, consumers are deprived of or get reduced warranties. Shandil says they've received several complaints in regards to warranties when people buy white goods. We have also received cases where, you know, the box of the item says warranty is six months, but when the item is taken to point of sale, it, the consumers are told that it is not for the Fijian consumers. Or if the box of the item is saying three years, the consumers are receiving one year or reduced warranty tab. Shandil adds tampering with expiry dates is another emerging issue, and recently they received a tip-off that expiry dates are being removed from alcohol products. Energy Fiji Limited says there is at least $500 million worth of renewable energy sources Fiji can invest in. 
Board Chair Dakshish Patel says renewable energy is one of the economic resources to be unlocked by EFL, increasing its value in years to come. Patel says the challenge for them is not what they have today, but how they can take EFL to the next level. The, a huge amount of uh, uh, return for the investors uh, that will come through. And this is something that I think has not been factored fully by many investors, but the way I see it today, that is really uh, the cookie in the jar. The competition between financial institutions is quite tough for Bread Bank since it opened six years ago. The bank's Fiji executive, Terry Gillot, says despite this challenge, they continue to thrive. Gillot says they've reached 5.65% of market share and they have managed to provide employment for many Fijians. The Bread Bank Fiji currently has over 45,000 active accounts. We uh, are profitable. Uh, we have tripled our results uh, last year. So we are really uh, on a good track. And uh, of course, our aim is to grow again. At least the uh, first step is 10% uh, of market share. That is only the first step. Uh, we are very happy that a lot of uh, Fijian uh, people uh, are confident uh, to, to, with Red Bank. A song composed especially for Fiji to motivate youth is now available on YouTube channel. Brighter Day was composed by aspiring artists and songwriters Joe Watuvivila and Byron Kino from the Planet Shakers Church Ministry of Australia. Watuvivila is in the country with 300 others for the Believe Fiji movement, which aims to empower Fijians to realize their potential. The song also has the mix of the Fijian chant, Nongu Kalo, Nongu Bonua, which means, my God, my country. And it's also inspiring the next generation. They, you know, they are the answer. So um, that's part of, uh, you know, a line in that song there that I wrote was, you know, the next generation is rising up. A uh, new generation uh, is on their way up to the top, and so we want to encourage the nation to, you know, lift the, the young people up, and uh, you know, you know, let's believe for the future leaders to come through. So, yeah, there's lots of great positive messages in the song. Coming up, no issues from overseas clubs, says McKee, and four Fijians line up against Drua. Stay with us. Hoi tabua, aku do tali tayin na warong na bulay FM, nambando na ser. Bula, alang gonoa, iluto ka do tali tayin na bulay FM, berarti na nambando na ser. Nimbula bina ka, nandreking ko sa bulay FM nga, e na kasi. Nalang gusto mo do ati bina bulay FM, nambando na ser nusur. Nimbula bina ka, nalang go Jerry, e ang belampasa, do warong nga e na bulay FM, nambando. Bulay FM, nambando na ser. Flying Fijians head coach John McKee says building relationships with overseas clubs has benefited the Flying Fijians. McKee was responding to questions as neighbors Tonga didn't have some of their players released by their clubs. 2015 RKS under 18 Deans winning lock forward Serupepele Uru will make his NRC debut tomorrow for Brisbane City against the Fiji Airways Ndrua. Uru is one of the four players with links to Fiji who have been named to the city team, including Teti Tela, Moses Sorovi, and former Wallabies winger Sefa Naivalu. Naivalu and Tela are also making their first appearances for Brisbane City. Brisbane will, will host the Ndrua at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Former Flying Fijians lock forward Sikeli Nambo scored a try for Counties Manukau in their Mitre 10 Cup clash against Wellington last night. But the try couldn't save counties as Wellington scored after the Hooter to win 29-22 in round four of the Mitre 10 Cup. The Fiji Football Association will build a new football pitch at the Suva Football Academy in Vatuwanga. President Rajesh Patel says they will be talking to consultants who specialize in building pitches. Patel adds the new artificial pitch at the Uprising Resort grounds has made an impression on the players and officials. Patel says such a pitch in Suva will be ideal as it rains a lot in the capital. In future, once we finish the Lambasa project, we will 
embark on changing uh, the pitch here in the academy here where we'll try and put an artificial uh, pitch here which is for the long run it will be beneficial and everything because of the rain problems we have got mm. in the national team coming here so ideal would be to put uh, artificial pitch here right. in Suva. the project is estimated to cost around two million dollars Expect an improving afternoon with more sunshine. There is a chance of light showers along the eastern shores tonight, followed by a fine day tomorrow. And that is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Safe weekend. Good afternoon. My name is Neha and I'm from Kadavi and Mirchi FM is hot. Hamachale Nasori se Mirchi FM bahut julum. Hi, I am Shara Prakash baat karta hai aur tawa mein Mirchi FM sabkun se and Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, I'm Shain. I love uh, listening Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm Shavi. We, We love, love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM. It's hot.